Hello, it's your favorite sports dunk here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the fastest growing community on YouTube. Remember, nightcap doesn't happen without you. So please subscribe or you're going to make Ocho cry. Yep, the Chargers are trading Keening Allen to the Bears for a fourth round pick. Uh, they cut um, they cut Mike Williams. Yeah. Uh, and they restructured the contract of Ke uh, Joy Bosa and Khalil Mack. Uh, last season, Allen had 108 catches, 1,243 yards. He was sixth in catches, 11th in yards, tied for 18th in touchdowns. Um, but he's not, he, he was 136 in average, but that's what he is. He's a, he's an intermediate guy. He's a move the chain guy. He's going to mm -hmm. catch a bunch of passes. Not going to be for a, a big average. Uh, he's not going to average 14, 17 yards a catch. Mm -hmm. That's not what he is. He does a lot of the dirty work, works in the slot. Got tremendous move, great transition in and out mm -hmm. of breaks. Yeah, shifty, sneaky, yeah. can get yes, behind he, you. Yeah, he's a he's a uh, Keenan Allen is, is one of those. When I talk about route runners in the NFL, one of those that doesn't need the offensive coordinators to help to scheme him open. He's yeah. one of those one of those few. Now it's only a handful of them. Unk. It's only a handful of them. I'm gonna yeah. line you up out here like I, they used to do Marvin Harrison and yep. just line you up on, on the one right side, side of the field. We're gonna, we gonna leave your ass there all goddamn day. I need you to when we call your number, we need you to get open. I and don't do no motion either. Huh? And you know the Coles ain't do no motion either. Oh no, oh no. And he getting open. <laughs> Keenan Allen is one of those. Off the mm -hmm. ball, oh, he nasty with it. You play right. man, he finna sauce you up. You play off, right. he finna sauce you up. His mm -hmm. understanding. Of coverage, zone, man, knowing when to sit, knowing when to keep going. Man, he's brilliant. He's brilliant. Yeah. So for the Bears, that's a good thing. Now, the Bears have all these acquisitions. I just want to know, what are we going to do at the quarterback position? What well, you already know what they're going to do at the quarterback position. They're going to take, take Caleb Williams. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I have a question. You would know better than me. What do you think about them keeping Justin Fields and still drafting just, I mean, and still drafting mm -hmm. Caleb Williams and mm -hmm. let him sit for a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's the same situation. People thought they should do that with Peyton Manning and Andrew Luck. Ain't no way it's happening. Right. Okay. It ain't happening. Okay. <laughs> now, we broke we broke down the teams that are available. Oh, yeah. We broke down the teams together, mm -hmm. teams that are available. And I, I honestly thought it would be the Falcons. Obviously, now Kirk Cousins is going there. Mm -hmm. And what, 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 what do we narrow it down to? We had three. It was three teams. Potential the Raiders. Okay, yeah, Raiders. Broncos might be in the mix. And we said Giants. Didn't we, didn't we say Giants? Giants, yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay. Oh, man. Oh, that's crazy. This this this, this time of year is kind of exciting. Mm -hmm. It's kind of exciting, man, to see where everybody's going. So Tennessee. No, man, that's three, quarter, that's three quarterbacks in a row each year. It is what it is. I keep doing it until I find one. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what, what you, hey, you keep marrying until you keep dating until you get it right. That's a good one. That's if you're dating to marry. Yeah. Damn, that's hey, a good one. Sometimes, oh, Joe, I'll, you, know, you know, women talk about you got to kiss a lot of frogs to find a prince. Sometimes <laughs> you got to slay a lot of dragons to get you a queen. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, yeah, I like, I like, hey, I like it. I like it. Like what queen What you yeah. got to get through the, you remember yeah. Shrek? What they had yeah. to do, they had to get past the dragon, right? Oh, yeah. Sometimes he sure did. you got to slay a lot of dragons, like dragons to get you yeah. a queen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but listen, <laughs> oh boy, when you say it like that, you well, Ocho, they go beat us up. Well, Shadow Shop, you heard Shadow Shop or Ocho talk about uh, uh called referring to women as dragons. You, you see, Ocho, I, you, you know, it's right, common. You're right, you're right. You're okay, okay. We, we see, you not we got to be careful, you got to be careful about what you say, but they understand it's it's, it's merely an analogy. Yes. Listen, if, the, if, 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 if the shoe don't put if the shoe don't fit, it shouldn't bother you. If the shoe don't fit, if you're not a dragon, we know you're not a dragon. It's cool. Yeah. Listen, everybody has the ability in today's era in society to identify with whatever they want to, whatever you want to. So if you're not a dragon, that's fine. Right. Damn, that's a good. I like the way you put that, though. You got to slay a lot of. But but but, but, but here's now, the now, thing. Now, oh. now you got now you got my train of thought going back down memory lane and what it took to get to this point. <laughs> Man, oh man, I don't know what it would be, Ocho. Yeah. Let me kill it because everything I say, you yeah, heard what yeah. he said. Yeah, he said this, right? This right. about Meg, and he said this about this one about Jess, and he said, "I like God." I, but this yeah. is what I don't understand, Ocho. It's, it's no ill what? intent, Uncle. It's no Ocho. ill intent. But here's the thing: I don't understand. 
When it comes to me, Shannon, take a joke. When they question your sexuality, when they do this, Shannon, it's just a joke. Right. But hey, but when Shannon Sharp says something, oh, he mean it. Let, let's set it in stone. Right, right, right. Do you, do, do you notice the difference, Ocho? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it moves. You know, the goalpost moves. Okay. It, it all depends it on who me. it is. I thought it was just me. Nah, nah. The goalpost moves depending on who the individual is, you know? Some people yeah. it's okay. Some people it's not. See, they're not used to seeing you in this space. That's the thing. True. They're not yeah. used to seeing you in this space. You normally suit, tie, you know, studious. Yeah. So they, they, they haven't seen an open and authentic, organic yeah. Shannon Sharp. So it's shocking to a lot of people now this, that they get to see you in this space. This is this is locker room, Shannon. Yeah, big, this is, that, this that, is that, on the bus, Shannon. And this that, is going and, to and this that, on and, the uh, and, airplane, Shannon. Yeah, and that is what makes this so great because it allows the people to see another side of you, the true side of you, when you don't have to be, I don't want to say someone you're not when you're on TV, but you do have to put on a different face if that makes sense. Yeah, of course. I'm on television. I'm with the Disney. I'm with I work for the company that got the got the got the ears. The ears, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, hey, oh, this right here, oh Shay Shay, I work for the company that got the horns. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't say the horns. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, that's that's a good all. One. It, 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 that's it's, a good a little, one. it's a little different. So yeah. I just have to act accordingly to the yeah. situation that I be. Yeah. But uh uh, I, I like the move. Uh, uh, you look at what the uh, the Bears have done: Keenan mm-hmm. Allen, DeAndre Swift, Gerald mm-hmm. Everett, Kevin Bayard, Coleman Shelton, Jonathan mm-hmm. Owens. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, Mr. Simone Biles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. they also own, excuse me, the first overall pick and the ninth overall pick. Ooh, so they eight, got they got eight. the number one from Carolina, and they have their own pick, which is number nine. Right. And but but well, I'm I'm, I'm gonna. Think about who where, where they would go. Do you go defense? Do you go offense? I, I for me, if there's an offensive lineman rated high, I'm gonna go get him. Go get yeah. Because I gotta protect my quarterback. Quarterback, right. It don't do me. We saw Bryce Young. As great as Bryce, the difference Ooh. is Bryce Young in Alabama had protection. By yeah. Bryce Young in Carolina got his ass kicked. Yeah. So you gotta protect him. Right. You, I don't care who you got at receiver. Mm-hmm. You could have D Hop. You could have Keenan Allen. You mm-hmm. could have Gerald Everett. You could have mm-hmm. everybody you want. But, but if you, you don't protect you that, and you can't get him the ball, it don't make it don't make no sense. Don't make it. Don't make a difference at all. So, uh, Derek Henry said on Mad Dog Radio at the Cowboys never reached out to him in free agency. The Cowboys mm-hmm. never called at all. That's where I stay in the offseason. I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of on my back end of my career. And that's a great organization. It would have been a great opportunity, but I'm thankful that I ended up here in Baltimore. Mm. I didn't know yes, that he lived in Dallas in the offseason. He's mm-hmm. from uh, Florida, small town right outside of Jacksonville, if I'm not mistaken, right. Uli. Um, and Tennessee, you know, obviously played with the Titans, so he probably mm-hmm. lived in Nashville or the outskirts. And so uh, I get it. Nice way to train it. I mean, that's one thing. He gets his time in the locker room. Mm-hmm. I mean, excuse me, in the training room and equipment, you know, working right. out. Um I thought it would have been a great fit, but I thought Baltimore was always yeah. a better fit. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Baltimore is most definitely a better fit than the, the, the Cowboys are because of the play style, the offensive style of the Ravens. The Ravens going to yeah. run that ball. The Ravens are one of the few teams in the NFL, I might add the Cleveland Browns in that, that run the ball like they got goddamn Jamal Lewis, mm-hmm. like they got Jamal Lewis back there. In the back, in the backfield. And mm-hmm. obviously, Derrick Henry fits that mold and what the Ravens used to be. And pairing him with Lamar Jackson yeah. and the receiving core, Zay Flowers, and I think Nelson Aguilar, Aguilar is still there. I think they're they going to be fine. They're going to have to make a splash somewhere else all, as well as far, as far as offense is concerned. And bringing in another dynamic receiver to go yeah. along to pair with Zay Flowers. They, 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 got, they got Zay they got Flowers. They got Bateman. Uh, like, oh, I forgot, uh, yeah, uh, I forgot about Rashad. I forgot about Rashad. Likely, uh, uh, Andrews should come back healthy. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if they signed a two-year deal with Aguilar. Is it a one-year deal? They still have uh, 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 Duvernay. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they brought Gus Edwards back. Uh, Keon Mitchell. Yeah. Uh, Keaton oh, he's Mitchell. back. He's Keaton. back coming. Keon was coming Keon up. fast in the motherfucker, Keaton. boy. It's Keaton, right? It's Keaton Mitchell. Keith yeah. Mitchell. His, I played his, with his, his, I, dad, his dad. I played, played with his dad, Anthony. Yeah, dad played with me in Cincinnati. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah, because he, as a matter of fact, he was on the team with Marvin. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was. Uh, he was a rookie in two thousand. Yeah, we won the championship. He was a rookie with us. Hey, hey, what you in Baltimore? 
Yeah, him and AD. Oh. And Daly is top? Oh, AD. Man, yeah. Hey. Yeah, fast was there. That's yeah. my guy. Goddamn <laughs> so, uh, AD. I, 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 like, I like the fit because let me tell you why I like the fit in Baltimore because mm-hmm. they're one of the teams that still have a fullback. Right. Ricard if mm-hmm. goes to the Pro Bowl every year. Mm-hmm. Basically, he's an offensive lineman. Right. He's a 300-pound guy that can catch. So mm-hmm. they, they, but you know, they give him a ball occasionally on short yardage, but he he's a lineman. That's what he is. 